Hey everyone, my name is Bianca and welcome to today's vlog. Today um, is Wednesday. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Um, today we're planning to go out to McDonald's for lunch. Um, it's pretty wet and cold um, and sort of drizzly here in Adelaide today. So we haven't really been getting out the house much lately. So I thought that um, just as a treat, we'll take the boys out. Um, for lunch and Isaiah can have a bit of a um, play there in the playground there at McDonald's um, It's fairly new the playground there and, and it's undercover. So we'll get out and do that um, And then we'll probably end up coming home. I really wouldn't mind going to Kmart There's a few things I need to get from Kmart, but I don't know. We'll just see how we go if we don't go today We'll go tomorrow um, but yeah, we'll take you guys along um, with our day. The other thing I was going to do this afternoon is um, try a new recipe for dinner. It's called a creamy one pot um, pasta thing. Apparently, you just put everything in the pot, put the lid on and, and it cooks um, like, you know, all together kind of thing. So we'll see how that goes and I'll show you um, how I make it and how that turns out. But anyway, I'm feeling pretty hungry. It's pretty much lunchtime here. So we're going to um, head off now and go to McDonald's. So in the car, off to McDonald's. I think everyone's pretty hungry. Who's hungry? Anyone hungry? Nothing. Got the boys in matching beanies today. And Xavier's in the back. Um, he's got his little beanie on too. So Janika's at school today. So it's just the three of us. Isaiah, you want to say hi? Hi. Say hi. Where are we going? Come on. Say McDonald's. McDonald's. Yay. Cool. All right, let's go. They don't do the veggie burgers anymore. That's one of the reasons we came, because they do pretty nice veggie burgers. Um, so that's pretty annoying. So what we ended up doing was getting um, like a Big Mac and then getting no meat and then two hash browns. So we'll pop those in and I'm sure it'll still be pretty nice, but I think next time we'll go to Hungry Jack's. Um, they've got really good um, vegetarian burgers there, um, but the playground's better here. That's why we ended up coming. So yeah, we'll see how that turns out and we'll show you guys. Yum, so this is what we got. Mmm, looks good. So yeah, this is how you do vegetarian um, at McDonald's. So we just asked for no meat and they, were, they didn't even charge us for the meat. And then we popped in here um, some hash browns. So looks pretty delicious. I can't wait to eat it. Hello. So cold is that? So I thought we'd end up um, going to Kmart. There's not much I need to get. Just uh, I think some baby spoons, and I need to get um, what else? Some containers for baby food, and I need to take back something as well. So we'll just take you along, and. Um, yeah, see what we end up getting today. Probably not going to be here for long. I mean, the famous last words of came up, but yeah, we only truly need to get a couple of things.
And um, yeah, Isaiah and Xavier both fell asleep. So Xavier's awake now, but Isaiah's still asleep. So I don't know how he's going to sleep tonight. I probably will wake him up soon, I think. And um, it's almost four. But I thought I'd quickly show you guys what I got today from Kmart. Um, I total price that I spent $86.75. But because I returned something and I had a $15 um, voucher, I actually only spent out of pocket today $71.75. So I'll quickly whiz through what I actually got. First thing I got was, you probably remember this from my last haul, but the jacket for um, Isaiah that I bought, and I showed in my other haul, um, the zip was actually, um, when I went to put it on him, it was broken. So I thought I'll, I'll return the jacket. Luckily they had heaps, they had so many colors and so many um, in stock and they were still $15 um, on sale. So I just picked up that same color, made sure the zip worked. Um, next thing I got for Xavi was these two little organic um, sort of long sleeve uh, tops with the snaps. I got in my last haul the same one as a sage green, but they didn't have any other colors um, available. So today I picked up this beautiful blue and this kind of like it's like a light red rose pinky, but it's not too pinky, for, in my opinion, for a boy. So I got a couple of those, $3 each. I also picked up a Kmart a Beauty Blender dupe. I do actually have a proper Beauty Blender, but unfortunately Isaiah's run off with it and he's, he's, he thinks it's a ball and, and he's hidden it somewhere. Can't find it. So I thought, look, what I'll do is I'll pick one of these up. I think it was $3. Give it a go until my other one turns up. And if I can't find it, I'll either see how this goes or, or go for another beauty blender. Um, so I've been putting my makeup on with my hands lately, which is, it's pretty annoying. I can't kind of blend it. So we'll see how that one goes. Next thing I got. Now I have wanted one of these for a long time and I haven't ever seen them in, just in the shop. So this is a spoon rest, $4 from Kmart. Um, so stoneware, uh, yeah, um, it's, Stoneware dishwasher safe, domestic use only, spoon rest. So just to pop my spoon while cooking. At the moment, I, I tend to just put in a mar the spoon in a mug or a bowl and it kind of gets annoying. So but I, I'll, get, I'll get this for $4. They did have um, matching um, stoneware um, measuring cups and also like um, tablespoon, teaspoon type set. I thought they looked gorgeous, but I thought, look, I don't need them, number one. Number two, with Isaiah helping me in the kitchen and... Danica likes to cook. I'm assuming they'll probably break pretty easily. So, so I left those behind. Thought I'd just pick these up, this one up for $4. Next things I got for um, Xavian, which I actually went in to get, which is these spoons, because he's just started his solid. So these are just silicone spoons. And um, they have quite a few different varieties of spoons. Um, in stock, but I went for these. The reason why, because they feel, even through, through the plastic, quite soft. So here and also um, here. And because he's obviously, you know, starting out, he's got no teeth and he's likes to gnaw on things. I thought um, this would be good for him. It's gonna be like nice and soft for him to chew and, you know, um, start start off. So, and I thought the colors were gorgeous. So you got kind of like a yellowy, yellowy sort of color and then like this light bluey sort of greeny tone color. Uh, next for Xavier, I got bibs for um, solids. So I got three of these. I'll just show you guys one. So this one here is just, yep, silicone bib. It feels super soft and really like, I don't know, nice and squishy. These were $5. I do actually have a whole bag of um, like cloth bib type things. But what I found from you know, the other children with solids, you're just continuously washing them, you know, or, and then putting them in the dryer or, uh, you know. So I thought, you know what, if I've got three of these, one for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, if I can just quickly wash them with soapy water and hang them up to dry somewhere, we'll see how these go. I mean, I think for $5 bargain, the only thing that I could probably see going wrong would maybe be the, um, the print coming off. So look, we'll see how they go. I mean, you can't go wrong for the price and they look super cute. Fortunately, they didn't have any other patterns, only like a pink bunny type one, but no other kind of, I don't know, boy boy sort of ones. So I've got those. Last, oh, I've got a couple more things. I got these for Isaiah, these little drink bottles. So these ones here are $3. 
gone through a few of these they are 430 mils so they're quite small perfect for toddler size they don't leak or anything and even though it's winter here i'll i will be taking this out for now but in summer what you can do is you can undo that fill it with water and pop it in the freezer and then keeps our little drinks uh, nice and cold so i find these to be really good and i've gone through drink bottles expensive right through the kmart and i'm always going back to these for kmart so three three dollars then for danica and Jaden, i got them some uh heat bags or well, the wheat heat bag so danica she got like a cow print and Jaden got like a velvety corduroy type one so $10 each for these, just to keep the kids warm in bed when it's um, winter, keep the nice uh, little snuggly warm. danika has been asking for one and Jaden said, look, hey, he wouldn't mind one just to, you know, when he's studying, keep a bit warm. You just pop them in the microwave. So yeah, thought I'd give those a go, 10 bucks. And the last thing I got with these glasses. So these are the six Bond highball glasses. These are gorgeous. I've actually got the smaller version. I've got these, a few, the smaller version a few weeks ago and they are just so durable and stunning so these ones i i wanted to get the the taller version they didn't have them in stock every time i went into kmart so i saw them today and i thought you know what i need them i'm going to get them 12 dollars, super thick really durable i mean i'm sure they'll break if you if you really smash them but you know for kids sort of knocking things over um you know it's they're going to be hard to break so yeah, those were $12. So that is everything I got today, my mini haul. So I'm going to now try to wake up Isaiah so he can sleep tonight. And then I'm going to get tea cooking and um, get that all organised. And I'll take you along and show you that when I get started. So I'm just going to get dinner started. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm doing, it's called Creamy Vegan One Pot Pasta Asian Style. I will post the recipe below if anyone's interested in making it. It looks super easy. Um, I'll show you guys like everything that I've prepped up. So I've got everything organized and the, and uh, yes, this is actually what I do in real life. I prep everything, I get it all laid out and then it makes life so much easier just to, you know, cook it all really quickly. So I've got my pot here. So I've got some onions chopped up, cherry tomato, and in here I've got capsicum, peas, zucchini, pasta, tomatoes, some curry paste, garlic and coconut cream, olive oil and lemon juice. So I'm just going to follow the recipe and put everything in there to cook. And apparently it cooks all in one go. So I actually was going to show you guys how I pop that together. But what I might do is if anyone is interested, I'll do a separate video if it turns out well. And I'll do um, like a full cooking video on that. I've only made it once a long time ago and I remember everyone liked it, which is good. So um, I thought, uh, thought I'd give it a go again. And if it turns out good, I'll put it in my recipe book. Um, yeah, we're gonna end, I'm going to end the vlog now. We've got a lot going on at the moment. We've got Jaden's laptop charger just uh, basically it burnt and the power went off. Um, Danica's about to pop out. Um, Xavier's a bit grumpy and Isaiah is a bit grumpy. So I thought I'll wrap everything up now. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you want a, a video on this recipe. It looks pretty good. And um, thank you everyone for watching. And um, thank you for all my new subscribers. If you do like this video, give me a thumbs up. And um, please, um, yeah, like subscribe to my video if you guys are interested in seeing any uh, more of this content. And I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching. What I'll do is now I will insert just a few clips of um, what the meal turned out like. Um, and um, yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.